Hi, in this video, we're going to learn about the insertion sort algorithm. So what's the idea behind insertion sort? The idea behind insertion sort is to have a sorted part of the list and an unsorted part of the list. And each pass through will go and put the next element in its proper position in the sorted part of the list. So similar to selection sort in some ways, but some tricky uh, little details that are different. So let's step through insertion sort to really understand it. We're gonna choose the first element and mark that first element as sorted. Great, now it's green. Choose the next unsorted element. So that's a three. Now what we wanna do is basically sort that element in its correct position on the left sorted part of the list. So we shift that unsorted element into its correct position in the sorted part of the list. So now that first two elements, three and five, they're sorted. Now that left part of the list is sorted. We do that again. We choose the next unsorted element, which is a four, and we shift it, that unsorted element, into its correct position in the sorted part of the list. Now that left part of the list is sorted. Now we choose the next unsorted element, which is a one, and we shift it into its correct position, which is right at the start. Now that left part of the list is sorted again. Now we choose the next uncertain element, which is six, and we shift it into its correct position, which it's already at. Now it's sorted. Now we choose the next uncertain element, and we shift that into its correct position in the sorted part of the list. Now the whole list is sorted. So what does that pseudocode look like for each element in the list? Choose the current element and shift it into its proper location in the sorted part of the array. Note that the key difference here between selection sort is it's not that it's the overall remaining minimum in the whole list, it's just that it's the next item in the list and that part of the list, that left sorted part of the list, is all sorted you know, with respect to itself. It's not that it's the absolute minimum values, it's not the first you know, n minimum values like we had with selection sort. So what does insertion sort code look like? Um, we'll loop from i equals one, i is less than array.length, i plus plus. We start with one instead of zero because that first element, it's sorted with respect to itself. We get the current number, and then we shift it into the proper location using this while loop. And then we shift it down, we shift it down, shifting all the other elements up, and then later place it in its correct position with ARR at current index plus one equals current number. So we'll go into our editor and go over this code a little bit more. But first some notes on insertion sort. The best case scenario is that the list is sorted. The worst case scenario is that the list is sorted in reverse. And for an array with n elements, it takes n minus one passes to sort the list. And so after i iterations through the list, the first i plus one elements in the list are sorted. Since the first was already sorted, it's not that those are the first i you know, elements that will be in the ending list, but it's that all those are in their proper positions relative to themselves. So now an advanced idea, the average complexity for insertion sort is big O of n squared, and the intuitive reason here is similar to selection sort is because we have a nested loop. So the runtime varies with the square of the length of the list. Again, this is beyond the scope of the class, but um, this way you sort of have heard this idea in case it interests you to dive in more. So let's go into our editor. So the first thing we're gonna do is look at visualizing um, insertion sort. So let's run this program and we'll say, let's say we have a hundred items in our array and we wanna see insertion sort. So this is what insertion sort looks like. Each time we're basically taking that next element and putting it in its proper position with the overall list. So I'll do that again, but I'll slow it down a little bit. Okay, so you can see what's happening is we're not choosing the overall minimum in the list like we did with selection sort. We're just choosing that next element and sliding it into place with our current sorted part of the list. So you can see every time we take a new list, take a new element, right, that left part of the list stays sorted. So you can very clearly see the sorted part of the list 
and the unsorted part of the list. So we can try this. Uh, we'll go a little bit faster with a medium sized list. So this is what insertion sort looks like. So you can play around with this visualization. Now let's dive into the code for insertion sort. So up here in run, we've created a couple arrays. Uh, we're printing out what the arrays look like before, then we're sorting them and printing out uh, the results after they're sorted. Okay, so what we're doing is, again, we're starting with uh, i is one, not zero, right? Because that first one we're assuming is sorted with respect to itself. We get the current number in that list. And so now the goal here, remember, with insertion sort is to insert this number into its proper position in the sorted part of the list. So then we get cur index, we set that to be the, you know, the place to the left. And then here's our while loop. What's this while loop really doing? It says, while we are still in bounds and the current number is less than the current index, right? Then we'll keep shifting. We'll shift the value at the current index to the right one place and then current index minus minus. So basically what this is doing is it's continuing to shift elements to the right to allow us to place this current number in its correct position. And then we put this number in its proper location and then we'll print out that array just so we can see the intermediate steps. This is definitely a very tricky algorithm. All of the sorting and searching algorithms are pretty tricky. And so it takes, you know, it's definitely worth it to go look through this code yourself, um, try and walk through it, try and put out prints to see what, you know, how this is really working. But we'll run this code and we'll see. Um, so you can see here, uh, you know, that five, that five is now sorted with respect to itself. Now those first two are sorted, three and five are in the proper positions. Now three, four, five are in proper positions. Now one, three, four, five are proper. Now one, three, four, five, six. And then the whole list is sorted. So just like we showed in the slides. So this is insertion sort, and now you can get a chance to play around with it.